You know, normally I, when I make these kinds of videos, it's about somebody who's done some super degenerate shit, uh, someone who's done some really fucked up, depraved crap, or is advocating that kind of shit. Um, today's gonna be a little bit different, we're gonna have a little bit more fun, and we're just gonna talk about somebody who's just being, <laughs> just objectively a little bit of a fucking jerk. So that's, that's really what we're gonna be doing here today. So Cypher Evitus, or Cypher, Saphir, uh, fucking... I Ividus? Ividus? I how to I apologize if I pronounce your name incorrectly, Cypher. Um, and by that I mean I don't fucking care if you're tilted by that because you're just being a fucking dick. So this anime requires a little bit of backstory and exposition before we can get into the meat of things. Uh, there's another furry commentator called Labrat. She tends to make commentaries in the style of Leafy is here. Um, and that's, for the most part, all well and good. I enjoy her content, and I watch it fairly regularly. Also, I highly recommend her content over mine because she doesn't have the annoying fucking lip smacking sounds because she knows how to fucking audio balance better than I do because I'm a fucking hack. Very recently, she made a video about how to become a furry influencer in 2020, where she sort of talks to a lot of other furry influencers on different uh, platforms and how they did it, you know, advice, things of that nature. And, uh, there was one specific clip that I'm going to show to you right now. It's about three seconds long, and I'm going to show it to you, and you just see this, and you just see exactly what I'm talking about here. Now, for those of you who don't know who the fuck that was, I don't blame you, because I didn't know who the fuck that was either, uh, until I actually got contacted by Labrat, because she was being threatened with a DMCA takedown by a small furry commentator called Cypher Evitus, or Saphir Evitus, or Cypher Evitus, or who the fuck gives a fucking shit. For context, uh, that three second clip that I showed you was part of a 13 minute and 9 second video. Uh, so what we are talking about is Cypher Avidus attempting to threaten Labrat with a DMCA takedown over less than half a percent of total runtime. I'm not joking. That is, if you do the math, it comes out to that. I will have the number on screen. That's the number that it will come out to, percentage-wise. That warranted a DMCA takedown. So after talking a little bit to Labrat and getting her side of events, I attempted to reach out to Cypher Avidus, Avidus, Johnny Unitas fucking I don't know this this name's irritating man I need I need a moment okay we're going by Borderlands 2 rules from here on out I'm just gonna give him a nickname and we're just gonna call them that for the remainder of the video because I can't with this fucking name it's it's too much it's too busy there's too much going on here okay so Greg we're gonna call them Greg and yes that is a fucking Onision reference because Onision is the kind of person who does this kind of shit so that's uh that's why we're calling you Greg so I attempted to reach out to Greg and try to get his side of events as well. Um, I joined his Discord server, started contacting him on Discord, you know, that was after talking to him on Twitter, and Greg sends me a lot of screenshots of the conversation with Labrat. So I sent these particular messages to Greg after seeing all of the conversation, um, and m mostly it was just sort of to give a conversation over to Greg and just sort of let him know, hey, you you shouldn't do this, you develop this kind of reputation as a commentator, like, that's the conversation that I was trying to have with him. He didn't really want to have any of that, and I thought, whatever, okay, fucking do you, Greg, you do you, man. And I thought it was gonna end there, and, um, it fucking didn't. It, I guess it didn't, because, uh, I got contacted a little bit later by Lab Rat. Uh, apparently, Greg was still gonna go through with the DMCA takedown, and... Here are the fucking DMs that, with a different YouTuber that was, you know, talking, trying to fix things between both of them. And apparently Greg was still trying to go through with the DMCA takedown because Greg's a fucking petty bitch. So a couple things worth pointing out here is that Greg's basic argument towards fair use in this context and why it's, why what Labrat did was not fair use is that it was not educational and is somehow trying to present it as though educational purposes are the only aspect of fair use which is just objectively untrue to the point that i don't know why anyone who understands even at the conceptual level what fair use is would even think there was only one factor like that uh, it seems incredibly disingenuous to present it that way but i'm going to give greg the benefit of the doubt and just say greg really believes that there was only one factor despite this however Greg has to understand that <laughs> even if that was the only factor, using a DMCA takedown, it's not something you can use just because you don't like somebody or what they said on a different platform entirely. That's not how that fucking works. 
Not only that, Greg, another big factor you seem to have with your argument is that you is that Labrat needed your permission or the artist's permission. But that's not true whatsoever. Permission doesn't play a factor in fair use. I don't even understand why you would believe it would. Labrat doesn't need your consent to use your content for it to be considered fair use. Not only that, Greg, you fucking know that too! You know that Labrat doesn't need to credit your artist or you! And you know that this was fair use! Either that, or you're just a big flaming fucking hypocrite. And the reason why I say that is because one of your earlier videos, you yourself do not even credit the artist whom you are criticizing while showing all of their artwork on screen. And I will show you that clip right now. Like this watermelon colored one. Think she's going to be your OC, bucko? Think again. Because this artist recolored the same character and is selling her to someone else. So really, you can't even call these characters your own after you buy them. You've only bought the color design to the line art. That's it. And who does that? No one wants that. No one. One of the most frustrating things about this is that some of these artists don't even make their own freaking line art. Yes, you've heard me correctly. They don't even make their own line art. They legitimately borrow the line art from other artists. I am seriously struggling to call these guys artists because the only thing- and the reason why I pointed out that that was a three second clip earlier in Labrat's video was because that was a throwaway gag. Greg, the difference here is that you are using this as the central focal point of your video. See, that's a big difference right there. And yet, you're sitting here demanding Labrat give you credit or you're gonna DMCA strike her video? I'm not gonna lie to you, Greg, you're being a little bit of a sandpapered butthole. And, and don't get me wrong, I get why you would be tilted about what Labrat had to say on Twitter. I don't necessarily agree that you are transphobic, and I don't necessarily agree that that was enough to make that kind of statement. That said, being tilted that somebody said something mean about you on Twitter does not justify misuse of the copyright system on YouTube. Stop being a petty bitch. People are always going to say mean things about you, especially if you're a YouTuber or a creator on social media. You will constantly, no matter how nice you are, how well you present yourself, you will constantly get people saying mean things about you. That does not mean you can DMCA every fucking one of them, okay? That's <laughs> it's not a tool for that. It is a tool for protecting copyright protected work. This was fair use, Greg. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's educational or not. There are many factors in fair use. Examples being parody, satire, uh, fucking, if it's transformative, the amount of time used as compared to the whole, whether or not it actually causes actual damage to the original creator's ability to monetize and exploit their own work, which, by the way, your video does more of that than lab rats, you know, from the comparison that I made earlier, but let's not talk about that. So the fact of the matter is, Greg, you don't have a whole lot of room to, to fucking do this shit. And it's not a tool that you can just be like, yo, you can't fucking say that about me, DMCA. Okay, that's not how that goes. So now that we're nearing the end of this video, if you've gotten this far, please don't send any unnecessary hate to Greg. Uh, he's just a small boy with a big dream! So, we're, this is honestly just for entertainment purposes. Please don't actually go hate on him. Don't actually just fucking do anything to his videos or his Twitter. Just This is mostly just for entertainment, and it's also just to let him know, hey, dipshit, you kinda can't do this, it's not really okay. Links to my social media are in the description, as well as the links to the artist who does my character stills, as well as the artist that did the logo for my thumbnail, as well as the link to all of my patrons um, who have generously donated to me on Patreon. Uh, my Patreon is also located down there, and my Discord server. We are very close to 200 users in there. It would really, really mean a lot if some of you would jump in there, say hello, and I'll be sure to never speak again after you join because I'm not very active in my server. So. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.